Okay. <clears throat> I just watched uh, G-Man's I Stopped the Rain Today video. Awesome video, G-Man. Um, first of all, rain in working with water is a really good way to practice, to build your confidence and build on your uh, belief system that you are a creator God because water is so <laughs> fluid and uh, loves to play. Water loves to play the energy, the elemental of water on the planet. Uh, loves to play and will definitely play with you. So sending away rain, bringing in rain uh, are awesome ways of doing it. Also playing with clouds like busting up clouds, uh, merging clouds, uh, calling in clouds when there's no clouds, also changing clouds into a particular shape uh, that you want them to be. That's a really, really good way. Number one, you can lay on the ground uh, to do it, which connects you with Gaia um, completely. Half, you know, the back side of your body can be laying on the earth, uh, connecting with the earth. So that's another way of doing it. So it's very, very effective. Uh, another thing that could be done, especially those of you who do uh, drive a lot or drive at all, especially like in your situation, G-Man, another thing to do is to mess with traffic. Uh, I used to do this all the time because I drove all over the place in Houston. So I could look up in, in front of me and see bumper to bumper traffic and not want to deal with that. So I would just visualize that traffic getting lighter and lighter and lighter to almost non-existent and that's exactly what would happen and be patient because at first in the back of your mind you're going to be saying oh i can't do this that's craziness and then when you first do it a couple times you're going to go oh it's just coincidence but keep on keep at it keep at it because uh, eventually your mind is going to click over to okay now it's been this amount of times that is not coincidence that is not just uh, happenstance that is me doing it so it's a matter of doing these things over and over again so that you can um, replace that belief system that's been drum drummed into you over and over and over for the years that you are a uh, lowly worthless human and uh, you have no control over anything okay so the next thing is he had this thought of what is karma is karma law of attraction well, originally, whenever that karmic uh, information came out, it was it was brought out by um, more enlightened, and I'm going to use terms that I don't really like because they are the terms that I can, that I have access to. So, um, <clears throat> from that perspective, excuse me, from that perspective, this holy person came in and was trying to explain moving from vibration to vibration and it is a way of explaining law of attraction it's also a way of explaining that you cannot jump uh, once in this physical body you cannot jump vibrations that you have to move through them now what has happened with um, humans is they of course take that to mean well then you want to start you're going to start low like an amoeba and then you're going to gradually evolve into something else Okay, well, take out the fact that that amoeba is uh, less in, evolved than you are because there is no evolving. There is only difference. There is not better than. There is only difference. There is not an, you know, a more evolved experience than someone else or less evolved. There is only differences of experience. So that's what I need you to do is take that out. And what he was trying to, what they were trying to relate to people is that you need to move through those vibrations to get from what you would consider not as enlightened to more enlightened. You have to move through those vibrations. And I'll give an example. Let's say uh, 3D vibrationally. If you are in severe depression or despair, it is better and it is necessary for you to uh, get angry because angry is uh again we're going to move we're going to use upper and lower uh higher and lower even though that's not true just so that i can explain these things so in order to go from deep despair you need to go through anger 
to get to eventually happiness. So you need to move through these other lower vibrations to get to the happiness vibe. Now you can move very, very quickly. You can do it in a deep breath, but you must go through them in linear time space. And that's what you're in. You are in the illusion of linear time space. So therefore you do have to move up and back. Now you can, you don't have to do that in all things. That is simply true because you are in uh, time space. And I say illusion of time space, but it's not really an illusion. Uh, now, some people would say all of this is a dream. All of it is an illusion. I do not uh, think like that. I think it's all real because it's all been created by creator gods. Therefore, it does exist. It, it is real. But I won't argue with anybody who does the illusion um, a dream uh, way of saying it. But as long as you're in time space, then you're going to have to move through these things back and forth. And basically that karma was taken to way, made way bigger than it needed to be. And then it became this, well, you have to live a good life in order to the next life be, be born into a situation where you can have a better life. And, and if you screw up and you are a bad person, then you're going to have, that'll knock you down, um, on the karmic plan or, raising of situation uh, which is not what was meant you know you can you can go up you can go down all you want there's not a, a good or a bad there is just different experiences so perhaps you came in as a creator god wanting to live the 3d uh i have the 3d experience of being in the lower vibes and physical form with total amnesia as a as the God that you are. So in order to do that, you're going to come into the game more than likely most of the time. <laughs> most of the time, this is what most of the humans did. And they slowly over lifetime after lifetime after lifetime, they slowly lowered their vibrations down to the lowest vibrations of 3D. And then some of them have turned around and slowly come back up. Now, every time you die, you have the option of going out of the game altogether and coming back in a completely different place. But as long as you're in this physical life or in a reincarnated life, as in the tunnel, then you are going to do this gradual up and down thing, at which point you can go either direction. Okay? Does that make sense? Okay. Now, when it comes to law of attraction and karma, what happens is... Uh, let's say you, um, you're you talking to somebody in your family, you're very angry at them for something that they have done or said. So you turn around and you really wail, wail into them and it's a family affair. And in that process, you really um, talk about secrets that will really cause problems for them in the family. Uh, as far as what you know, that now the whole family knows that is extremely destructive to this person. And you know that it's going to be destructive to this person. But at the time, you feel like that they deserve it. Uh, that, that, yeah, that they deserve it. Okay. Excuse me? Okay, so they deserve it. Well, what happens is when you're doing that and saying that to that person, and this was back in the days of 3D, so it would have taken about 17 and a half, 18 seconds, somewhere around there, to create, to send a message to the universe that that's what you want more of. So in this rant that would definitely go on, well, let's see that you kept it destructive, but short. And let's say that you only spoke to this person in anger and in uh, you were trying to vindicate yourself and to really hurt them for the hurt that they'd caused you, that you only did it for five minutes. So divide, let's make it easy. Let's divide uh, 15, we'll say every 15 seconds that you send a message to the universe. And as long as you are consistent and persistent in the same vibration, that 15 seconds, if you're still doing the same vibration, that next 15 seconds, it's like multiplied, uh, 
more than itself. What is that called? Somebody's going to write it in the comments what I mean, but it's like one plus one is three, not two. Well, that's how it is. You send it to the universe for 15 seconds. You keep on going. Now, the first 15 seconds equals what you send out, you get back. And as you know, whatever you send back out and you get back, the universe multiplies it times three. So you get three times more of whatever you send out. So you send out anger and um, you, let's just say you send out anger. So you send out anger for the first 15 seconds. The universe already is going to bring back to you three times that. Now you keep on going. Now at the next 15 seconds, it's three times as much as the first. So you have the three plus the one from the first 15 seconds. Now you're sending out a message to the universe of equal to four. Now you send it to the universe. The universe heard you. It's going to send back three times that amount. So now you're up to 12. Okay, you get the picture. Now you keep on going, keep on going, keep on going. Then what you will get back is going to be substantially not cool. So let's just say that you did it all in the vibration of anger. You're sending to the universe that does not judge whatever vibration you send. The universe is set. It's a machine. Kind of think of a machine set on automatic pilot with these kind of programming. And it will absolutely send it back accordingly. So you have sent out to the universe a massive dose of vibration anger. And what that does is that gets recorded by the program of the universe. And as your general manager, let's say it's the boss and it is going to give you more of what you ask for. So you have now sent out a massive dose of anger. So what will happen over the days that are to come in the future is it will send back to you uh, that amount of anger. So it might do it in little spurts like... Um, your kids may make you angry this amount. So you, you may have sent out anger that totaled 100. So over the days that come, you may have 100 spurts of littler amount of anger, just one right after the other to the point that it just builds you up to the 100. Or it may be one event that takes you to that 100, which is what you ordered from the universe. So from the standpoint that that karmic thinking is, is karma the same as law of attraction? Yes, it is. Uh, and it was kind of a way at the time for the holy person to describe those two things that you have to move through. Uh, you have to go from say anger to despair to, and I'm just really jumping here, but you'll get, there's a lot of fill in the blanks, but anger, I mean, despair to anger to, well, just neutral to hope to happiness to love. Okay. You can't go from deep despair to love. You can't just jump. You have to move through there. As I said, you can do it very fast, but you still have to move through there. So that's what they were trying to explain. Plus, when they brought up the whole karma thing, they were also trying to explain law of attraction like many, many people have tried to explain. And what gets people always is they go off of uh, human speech. And the universe does not operate off of human speech. So whenever you say, I want uh, the love of my life, and you do it like this, oh, I want the love of my life. I want the love of my life. I want the love of my life. Please, please, please send me the love of my life. Can you feel the need in that? Okay. The need, the vibration that goes out to the universe is that vibration of need. So that is what you will get back. You will get more need. And it, and it will probably, because you have focused it on the love of your life, it will probably be continued need for that love of your life but it can happen with anything. So people say, well, I did the vision board and I, I did my affirmations and I did and I did and I did and it didn't come back. And that's because of two reasons. Two is an underlying belief that you're not good enough and it can't happen to you or it can't happen to you unless you do something which you're not doing. So it can be interfered with, with your own belief systems 
or it can be the vibration behind the ask is not um, matching what you're asking. So in explaining that, that difference when the holy people or enlightened people throughout the millennial millennia have tried to explain to humans the law of attraction, they've used many, many different ways of doing it. And because it is a, a hard thing to explain. And that's what also what karma uh, was meant to do. That's what they were trying to do whenever they explained or brought in karma. Of course, the bad guys took and ran with that one and have used it all over the place to instill all kinds of uh, despair and uh, unworthiness and fear uh, to an unbelievable, unbelievable level using that uh, concept. Okay, so I think that's it on this one about karma. Okay, Carbon Law of Attraction. That's what I'll name this. Okay, guys, that's it for this one. And uh, huge hugs. I love you guys so, 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 so much. And I'll talk to you again later. Bye now.